I'm stuck. Leaving? That's it. I'm stuck. <laughs> Hi. Way too early. <laughs> What's going on down the street? Dude, it was happening last night. There was uh, traffic everywhere. Mm. He's got some. Uh, he's got some stuff in the chair. They won't be in his way. That's how I do my thinking. You know, with my brain and stuff. Sit in it. No. Oh, I kidding, possibly. Oh, are you serious? Okay. <laughs> Absolutely right, as always. Oh, we thought you were in the car. Oh, you're not stuck. Do we plug oh. it? Do we plug it in? Uh, no, you don't have to. Actually, it's got a 24-hour charge on it. Okay. Just stick it in the bedroom. Go on. Oh my god! Not easy. Shit! Uh, 
look good on this. I don't want to sit there. Hey, how long is this class? Like three hours? Uh, the class is, is two and a half hours until 11.30, but uh, the, you're only responsible for like an hour of it. You guys can hang. An hour. She said, yeah. We're, you're what only going to be there for an hour. I'll show you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's not, uh, not as strong as I used to be. I used to be strong. It's called getting older. Yeah, now my body got stuck on things. Can I shut this or you need more? Oh, wait. Hello. Do you need this? What? Do you need this white, this silver thing? Yeah. Um, I just need one cable out of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Okay, go ahead. I just was stopping reality so I could document reality. Oh, somebody finally. Oh, you know what? Look what I have. That you oh, can shit. put stuff in and carry with. Can I have a cigarette first before we do this too? Can, can, I, can I get back in the car? Cocksuckers are going to at least hold it. Cocksuckers? Wait, wait, wait. Don't take a break of it. Come on, can I your leg right here first? Oh. I'm sorry. Move my foot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you no, not really. Him? I'm sorry. After all these years, you finally dropped him. <laughs> no, Probably. that's gonna be the like. That's gonna be like the fairy tale moment in our relationship. We're gonna make him up and like sunk. <laughs> on the way, take your ass to the airport. Another spot. Here, baby. Stop. Are you cold? <laughs> I was just thinking how. how you know, funny would be that after all these years when yeah, you're being documented, that's when you do something terrible. Where's the freaking... <laughs> I'm not exactly oh, wow. sure where the smoking area is. I'm just going to feed it here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. God, Lord. What did you do? Oh, look. So that's a, that's good. Sure, eh? That's a really handy for you. I'm gonna like, well, you don't give a fuck how you look. Oh, not when I'm around you. You take all the attention away. You put a shirt over the belt. So I won't oh my gosh. That looks even dumber. <laughs> really? You were trying not to look dumb? Keith, yes, get, use the telephoto lens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let's move the cripple. I'm sorry, I keep kicking. Right. You gotta get Stay some entertainment you. out of your job, right? Hey, perks. Perks. Thank you. All right, now. Because we gotta get there before your class starts. Uh, well, I'd like to get there in the next 15 minutes. Um, Let's see if we just, uh, we'll go right through the building here. Okay. Wow, this tire is lame. Yeah, this is Alluding to all the purpose. Did you chair drinking part of it?
Awesome. Oh, wow. Come here for your trip. <laughs> and they all want coffee. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's me, Jeff. Love me. We'll be back out here after class. Oh, we're late then, aren't we? Oh, we're perfectly on. Oh, wow. Good. Are you really letting him coast down the hill? I was. Yeah, that's bad. Well, he doesn't have his belt on. He reminded me of that, so... If he had the belt on, it'd be fine. Oh, there's no belt. That's true. Is this beautiful? They have, they have tree days so right now you're just stopping him from dying. Basically. Well, as best as I can. No ramp right here. I know. Really? There's no ramp? Are you sure you want to test it? This chair. This tire is actually trying to come off of this chair. That. And that wouldn't have worked. You could have left me at home, that would have been awesome. Brought the chair. Arturo was telling me they just put the automatic doors on the library over the summer. Oh wow. I know, I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. It's just, I'm just saying, look at all this I try stuff. to explain to them. I say, I am so ordinary. You're not I only draw attention to myself when I put that on to hide how beautiful you think I am. You know? uh, yeah, You're totally. You're not going to be the only person on this campus. No. Okay, good. Although it, just, it really doesn't matter if I am or not. I love that you picked the see-through one to wear. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I just became Muslim. Let me get sexy with it. <laughs> it was really not the intent, but have you gone to Walmart to shop for scarves? Yeah, I have not gone to Walmart. It's not to a shop huge choice. We're going to turn right. In a box. I thought you said Jack in the Box. I was like, the where? where? <laughs> Biscuit what? I want some bacon, Turn, I'm actually going to turn this over to you and 
you had friends, and let me go sit somewhere with the class. Yeah, actually, I think this can take some start, I guess, with this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's lower this chair. We're just going to videotape what's going on. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. it's an introduction for, for mom. I don't know how much you know. It's an introduction for students. It's an undergraduate class, an introduction for, it's called Disabilities in Society. So many of the people in this class, some of them are what we call pre-credential students. They're going to be going into education, either as general educators or special educators. Some of them are in nursing, some in communication, some in the arts. So it's a very, very general survey class. Um, and what we say, uh, I don't know how old you are, but I have a feeling you're old enough to know this. There was a movie many years ago called, If It's Tuesday, It Must Be Belgium. And it was a tour of Europe. Well, maybe you're not that old. It was a I tour. <laughs> it was a tour. I just didn't see the movie. Right. It was a tour of Europe where people, every Tuesday, they, I mean, every day they'd be somewhere else. Germany, you know, it was, a, it was a comedy. That's sort of what this class is like. So it's like the disability of the week. Um, oh. So, I know, that's a little, it's a little crazy, but this is an overview. So it's not, we don't go into a lot of depth, but we, we have a week where we're talking about autism. We have a week where we're talking about kids with learning disabilities. We have a week with people with, with, with physical disabilities. So that's sort of what the class is like. So today, you are our resident expert, and you're our guest. And I know I've been teaching for a long time, not so easy to be in front of a group, but we really welcome you, and we welcome the rest of your group. Posse. Yeah, yeah your posse. <laughs> I think uh, yeah, entourage is probably a little dating term. <laughs> First day, she asked you all what kind of experience you had, and, and everybody has been taught to smile and politely look away. So today, we're starting smile and politely say hi. Everybody say hi to Sweat. Hi. I have treats for you later. Very well. <laughs> it's my best friend. This this is an amazing man. He's been there for me more often than I've been there for him. This is a great guy. And and you were taught by your parents to smile and politely look away. And and I'm and I'm serious. We're starting a new movement today. It's smile and politely say hi. Uh, we met Arturo over in front of the library. Constitutional law, you know Arturo, yeah. right? Arturo usually is in that chair just looking around, just waiting for somebody to say hi. Just say hi. Uh, you're all grown up now. Uh, it, uh, kids tend to stare at people that are different. Don't, don't punish them. Just go say hi. Go say hi. And they get to walk over there and say, how come you get to sit down all day and I have to walk? It's not going to hurt anybody's feelings. It's going to be as funny to them as it is to, uh, to well, it's not funny until you've seen it happen. So, so I didn't bring Spud here to display him. I, I brought Spud here to display you. Uh, you want me to click on one of these? Yes. Spud, is, his name is Sylvester Shaw. 90% of the people that know you Any, don't know that. Enemies? They know you as Spud. Okay. Well, that's just the one image I wanted there. When Spud was born, his mother said that he looked like Sputnik. Right? That's where the Spud comes from. And that's Sputnik right there. So, to start with, the humor, right, that his mother had to name him after a ball with four rods sticking out of it. So that's what I want to do here is just kind of interview Sput and, and, and uh, so people can get comfortable with the idea of talking to your students that are going to be in wheelchairs because if they're going to be in, it's going to happen when you teach more and more. The wheelchairs are going to be a part of the classroom and Sput can give you some insight on what it's like to be in school. Um, uh, the, uh, I, just, I had something else I wanted to say right there and come back to me. So anyway, this is, this is Sylvester Shaw. Um, what do you remember most about school? What is the one memory that sticks out when somebody says going to school as a child? Going to school. Going to school. <laughs> so the most important thing about people in wheelchairs to remember, I know that uh, you were laughing at Josh Blue, the, the comedian, mm -hmm. that you're not retarded. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't mean to prompt you. I knew you'd enjoy this more than anybody. But the point is, uh, for those who don't know, there's a comedian named Josh Blue, and he has cerebral palsy, and he makes a pretty big deal about the fact that his right arm is not in his control and, and all of that. The other day, he posted on his Facebook, if you're happy and you know it, clap your... Well, damn. He can't clap his hands. But you have to see the, hu see the humor that coming into this situation, his mother 
named him Sputnik because he looked like like that. So, um, did you did you have an IEP? When did you have meetings with teachers and stuff when you were in school? Where did where did you go to school when you first started going to school? Well, PS one and nine New York was a great school. Oh, you're in New York. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but do you remember having an IEP? Do you remember having meetings with parents and students and, and having their goal and, and they or or did they just they just put you in school? Yeah, went to school. You went to school. You, you told me that you spent a lot of time in the hospital when you were a kid. We off and on. I had a lot of surgeries. Did that interfere with the uh, the schooling? Sometimes, but there's at school there too, so they had school at the hospital for you. Yeah. Um, that's, you were telling us, Julie, that's where you started, right? Yeah. Well, I started, let me, let me. In New Mexico, they were doing that. I started at a different, it was a different kind of hospital. But I'm familiar with um, programs for kids who have physical disabilities, and they're hospitalized for surgeries and things that teachers go in. Mm -hmm. so, right, so you had some like, one on one tutoring with. with it was like a couple of teachers on site there. Okay, and there was a, and there was a class, because there were probably a few kids. Well, yeah, when I was there, not that many. I was like out okay. of two or three. Okay. It was. We saw the hospital on TV. What was it called? Hospital of Special Surgery. Hospital Special Surgeries. Yeah. And the, she would have been a little closer <laughs> there. And, and the, uh, uh, the. What was the surgeries for? Why were what were all the surgeries about? My arms and legs. They I have a joint disease. Right. Arthrogryposis multiplex congenita. I learned it, and so I like to say it. <laughs> <laughs> we call it AMC, Sputch disease. Um, and and they were hoping to get you upright. What were they? What were the surgeries yeah, was supposed of, to? Too much hope. It was to walk or to bend my arm, my left arm. And uh, and it just it didn't work back then. No. Sense. Yeah. Um, how? What kind of? What? What effect did that have on on your mother, on your family, and the expenses? The the uh, uh, who uh, who did pay for all of that? No, I'm not really sure. It's, my mother didn't. Never came up. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, she, uh, you know, you don't. She never even mentioned where where the money was coming from, or if it was volunteer time, or you never really knew. Huh? Oh, sure, so. Like medical, not medical. You know, before the yeah. So when you and and uh, PS, what you call it, one ninety nine? PS one ninety nine. Yeah, I went there from the first grade to the eighth grade. I didn't go to a junior high school. I went from there to. Um, Charles Rivers Hughes High School. And that was mainstream. Okay. Mainstreamed? So. Define mainstream. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went to school with everybody else. It was like a special school. So. But you didn't have the uh, electric no. wheelchair then? Uh, did, who went with you? Actually, I got around a lot by myself. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Because <laughs> you had to, right? Well, and sometimes people know me walk by with me a push. Yeah. And that wasn't really insulting if somebody offered to. No. No, <laughs> well, you know. This is the, the, the thing to remember. You're going to, you're going to want to relate to your students. So you just have an idea of, of where all of this is, uh, you know, where, where it's coming from. Do you have any vivid memories of, of an instance where somebody just completely lost track of? The fact that uh, you were in a wheelchair, or something that made you feel really bad, something that a teacher said, or, or no, another I was, student. I was never bullied or anything. I was too damn mean. <laughs> you were, yeah. The bully. yeah. Well, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was grew up in the projects, so personas a lot. So I use that. You know. Your sense of humor is wicked too. So that's a good defense mechanism. Your quick wit. I'm hating this. <laughs> you try to be meaner than everybody else to, yeah. to keep the bullying. Well, not mean, mean. I was funny too, but you know. I know I couldn't beat anybody, so I was stupid. <laughs> and unlike me, I could run away. So that was, that was usually my main. <laughs> my main. I never had problems like that in school, though, for a, some reason I never did. Well, that's, um, that's encouraging. It's, uh, even in the 60s, that people were. Aware enough to push you along, you know, and and, and help. But the, um, was the, did school have ramps and and was were there different? Yeah, yeah, it was accessible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. I couldn't go there. I was I was the only handicapped person there. You know, 
Right, right. But this was well before the ADA, so. Right. Yeah. That, that was my that was my question. About I don't know what year. I don't know. What I graduated in seventy five. Okay. So, so I started in seventy one. Yeah, so a lot of those laws of accessibility. Oh, so they, we, they weren't there. Yeah. But I think it's 76, uh, 80, something so like that. The, okay, so that's, that was one of my questions. Um, how did you get around? And I know the schools in New York, you can have you know, the elevators. Students. Okay, great. Actually, my school looked like, um, I don't know if any of y'all remember it. Remember that movie, Up the Down Staircase? Sure. My, well, the building, the, it looked just like my whole high school. It was all kind of high school. What is the name of the high school? It was Charles Jefferson Hughes. Hughes? Yeah, I don't think it's there anymore. I think it's some kind of adult center. So when you talked about you know, mainstreaming, for, for this class, that was the term that used to be used. We've gone through lots of terms. We have mainstreaming, then for a while we had integration, and then now we call it inclusion. Same thing, different different terms. So in those days it was called mainstreaming. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't have a, an assistant with you, so the district did not give you uh, an assistant to help you? With well, we had a general homeroom for the handicapped students, but that's about it. So other than that, you didn't have like a one-to-one -one assistance that went with you to classes? No. How did you deal with, you can all be asking these questions. You know me, I just have a million questions for people. That's not my brain. Um, so things like taking notes, or what, kind of, in the what class, kind of accommodations were made? Well, I was going to tell you, someone in class they usually take carbon paper when they take their notes. Yeah, we had carbon paper. Carbon paper, as <laughs> <brain hurts. laughs> Oh, actually, I'm sorry, y'all don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so you had, so you had a note taker for those Yeah, things. someone in class would take notes. I just, we did, um, so they would just make a copy of their notes. Yeah, right. pretty much. Right. When they were doing their notes, time and time would be there, right? One of my favorite stories you tell those of some you had to do a report and you just made it up on the spot. And that, was not, that was in high school. What was that, college? That's <laughs> <laughs> a funny story. Well, I'm, I'm sissy, but I'm lazy. <laughs> I, mean, I was in college and I had this um, class. We had to do. Um, Damn, like a speech. Public speaking class? No, it was, a, it was like an English class. But anyway, I had to give a summation or something for like 10 minutes. And it was supposed to be written down. So, um, like I said, I'm lazy. I didn't write it down. And the teacher never, didn't already like me to begin with. So I made it up on the spot. I didn't, it wasn't a lie. It was something that really happened. But I just didn't write it down. He had to pass me. But he said, you were you unique. That's I thought of it right on the spot because I knew I was going to write it. So that's the story. I think it's fun. Thank you. Ooh. What was it about? Birthday. Um, <laughs> you go to hell. <laughs> 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 um, it was about an incident. A friend of my brother's, his brother was killed by a um, police officer. I like to say we lived in the projects, and these cops were asking for look for someone else, and. This guy was kind of a proud guy. And the cops said, you know, you, you know, said, what is it to you? I don't know who you're talking about, and I don't care. It's not my job. But the cop took offense to it, and chained him to the fence, and they beat him with a knife stick, and he died three days later. So that was, so it's nothing I really have to um, think of or, you know, make up. It was a pretty good story of it on his own, so I just remembered it. Passed the files on it. Oh, that, that, that passed out assignment. That was it, uh, LA? <laughs> yeah. Long Island University. Long Island University. How far did you go in college? Well, that's probably what I want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> about two years. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know you had three, three years of college. That never no, came. I didn't have three. I had two. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, we were looking, we, uh, we saw the picture of your mom. I, I've known you since the, we don't even know. It was like 1980, 81, right around there. I think I met you before then. I never, I never did get to meet your mom, but did she manage to keep that, the overall humor of the situation? Could, did, did it well, get to wear on her? Or? No, no, we all, our whole family's like that. Yeah. You know, it's just what it is. What it courage, is. Your, courage, your, doubt. your brothers and sisters? Yes. Yeah, I'm the youngest. Mm. Of, Four. Four. 
uh, and the thing is, you, you don't really have any any memory of, of uh, being in meetings with the the teachers and and your and your mom and and deciding what kind of education, how it would be easiest for you to be educated. They just took you to school. And yeah, like everybody, school with they, everybody. They have meetings with you. Like you everybody, know. Else, exactly. Like it's that's where we started. <laughs> You're not retarded. I can't yeah, tell you about that. To remember that. <laughs> It's not a learning disability. It's just, it's just, it's just a wheelchair. It's the country I keep. Can I ask, when you read a book, I mean, did you have to have somebody standing by you to turn each page, or did you no. use your tongue, or I mean, how did you manage just those <laughs> kinds of ordinary? It depends things? on the book. I, just, I can turn a page. Yeah. Your nose. Huh? I can turn a page. <laughs> Why is it bothering I don't know, because what's the point of detail? <laughs> <laughs> well, then, well, that's, okay, that's how he uses the phone. He uses his, his tongue oh. or his hand. That's how he eats. That's how he gets around. He can hit you. Do what you have to do. <laughs> can attest to that. You can see why. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the stuff that Spud can do is, is, is pretty amazing. I remember that we were in the bar with Jerry <coughs> that night, and when you leaned over and picked up that beer bottle and took a drink and sat it back down, and that guy went crazy. Whoa, I can't even do that, man. Well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But. He's just drawing now. So in a room full of future teachers, what would be your best piece of advice? I don't know. He's a school. He's a school. Really? That's what Robert De Niro was the. Uh, they gave him an honorary degree, and he went to the graduation ceremony and said, "I have one piece of advice for you: stay in school." It's scary out there. So, folks, do you have some questions? Because here's a chance. Because a lot of times in class, you know, we're looking at videos. You're hearing me talk. We're looking at a textbook. Here's a, an opportunity for a man who's very open, very honest. I would, he'll tell us if he doesn't want to answer something, no. but I would really pick, pick his, pick his brain, uh, you know, just as good citizens, but also as, you know, possibly whatever field you're going to, nursing, uh, education, so think for a minute. I have a question for you, would, would, would they be an IEP student? Uh, in today's yeah, system, yeah, would they? That, that's that's sort of interesting because we're talking like back in the in the seventies when you were in school, the nineteen seventies, right? That's when I graduated. You graduated in the seventies. Seventy-five. Okay. Um, now I think what would probably happen with a with a student like Spud is he absolutely would be in all general education classes. There wouldn't be any reason that he wouldn't, and probably even easier now because you've got. You've got the uh, the electric chair. Even I imagine schools are even more accessible than they were. Although New York, I'm not surprised. <coughs> the elevators. It's New York. Out here, probably much tougher in California. Um, uh, I don't know, but if you're aware, I, I know you live around the Hollywood area, right? Well, there are several schools in LA Unified, and I I taught and was an administrator for a couple of them. There's one not that far from you called Whitney High School. You know Whitney? No. So Whitney is a segregated site. It's part of LA Unified, but it's a segregated site for students with disabilities. But it was established early on for kids in, in those days that were almost all of them were orthopedically handicapped. That's what started this school. Um, so kids in, kids in wheelchairs, kids with muscular dystrophy, kids with CP, Post polio. Those are the days of post polio, mm -hmm. and probably, probably kids who also had. Um, my name is. Um, they were segregated sites. Not any. Not, I don't. I don't mean segregated race. I mean segregated disability. Oh, yeah. So that was dramatically changed um, because pretty much all any kid with a physical disability can be on a general ed campus. There's really no reason why. But they might have an IEP, that was your question. They uh, may have an IEP. An, an IEP is oh, I the individual education plan. Oh. So, oh. They, so they may have a plan that's going to help them with some of the accommodations, some of the things that your school just did, just because they did. There may be something that's now written down. 
saying, okay, this student is going to need help, it's going to need a note taker. Or the student is going to need, in your case, that would be the case for maybe larger, larger print books if they have a visual problem. Or they may need the test. Um, like orally or? Uh, orally read to them. So there may be certain accommodations that are made. Uh, they may need an assistant during the day if you needed nursing help. So if you had a, if you had a student who needed catheterization or tube feeding or assistance with feeding, that would be something that would written, be written into a plan. Um, with you, I think there's three in school that said go. You know, maybe there's just something to be said. Something to be said for that. I think there's a lot more. Uh, what's the word I want to use? Um, a lot more accommodation made now. Well, there were assistants there if I needed to go to the bathroom or something, right. but it wasn't like that. We didn't plan that much out. Right, you didn't mm -hmm. plan that much out. Now it's now it's more now it's more planned. There's like a somebody, and you probably had a nurse even on campus in those days. We still had nurses on campus. And we only had that. It occurred to me when you started that elevator that the school was probably more accessible than the city was, right? Was just well, the irony of it, the, the building was old as hell. Yeah. The but, building was made like in the 30s. But to get to school, it was still the square curve. They still weren't building the oh, ramps, ramps, and ramps and no. the sidewalks and all well, that. Well, when you first got to Hollywood, there would be a ramp on one side of the street and then not oh, on the other. Oh, sometimes no ramps. Yeah. Right. The, uh, you I, probably know where all the cutouts are in Hollywood. Drive well, now they have ramps, but I used to know them then, though. Sure. When I first, first guy when I first knew I got, Scott, he knew where, which driveways to go down to get out into the street. I almost got in trouble. Um, I'll tell the story. It's a great story. <laughs> we love stories. Got. Come on. That's well, that's when I first got here, like I said, I was like really young. I mean, young, you're stupid. That's why young people go to war. Yeah. I was and going then. down number four lane in Hollywood Boulevard in the opposite direction. <laughs> in the street. It was no ramp then. And it just happened to walk, roll right past a cop. Uh -huh. And he looked at me with amazement and asked me, where did I think I was going? I said, I'm going on the street. He said, no, you're not. And just to prove his point, this Corvette comes screaming oh. down oh. where I would have been sitting. And he asked me, well, you know, who do you think would have won that fight? I didn't get a ticket. So I'm from New York. Nobody got day walking tickets in New York. So I never understood why he bothered me because I'm walking the street. <laughs> My husband's a New Yorker. <laughs> yeah, I get that. You know, you don't look the light. <laughs> you know? So I was it took me a while to get that. But you know, I, I see his point though. But now they have ramps. Okay. Need a rear view mirror for that. Right? It's to be street legal. No, I was. I don't know. <laughs> it's a total way to take. Is there is there anything you'd like to do that you're really kind of aggravated that you haven't been able to do yet? Is there any frustration that you were dealing with, you know, once a week even? Dude, why do you look at me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the hardest question in the world to ask me. I don't know. It depends how I feel at the time. Like, I gotta go to the bathroom real bad, and I can't get to the toilet for that. That's frustrating. Yeah. You know, in general, I'm like anybody else, mm -hmm. everybody here get frustrated about something. It's being most allowed. people don't have to think about, like, at my house, I have to leave the toilet seat up, right? Like, most women, we, we're always yelling at our boyfriends or whoever, you know, put the toilet seat down. But I have to remember to leave the toilet seat up because he has a hard time lifting the toilet seat. So I have now trained myself when I go to other people's houses, I put the toilet seat up, and they're like, why is the toilet seat up? <laughs> so I find myself playing with toilet seats in people's houses. It's a hard habit, right? Well, is that way I won't pee on the toilet seat. I agree. I, mean, I don't want you to pee on the seat either. I'm just saying. It's one of the things that has affected my life about your disability is I learned to leave the toilet seat up. And then when, we, when you rented the place, this is so perfect, but the bathroom, remember Richard had to come with the oh, saw. Yeah, the jigsaw had to cut like holes into the bathroom. So, so that the wheels were... Yeah. The landlord don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't bring that up. Yeah, there was still not wide enough. It's and thin, too. Uh, we, uh, he took the electric chair down to the car, and then we put him in the car. And he goes, Keith, can you take the chair back in? So I'm like standing outside the chair with the, he's got a little joystick on, on the right side. 
and I'm trying to get it up the thing, and Kevin goes, it's easier if you just sit in it. And Spud's like, just sit in the chair. You put me on the horse. <laughs> no, it's... Oh, I was waiting for him to tip over. Um, yeah. I was in summer camp. We went to this horse ranch, horse farm. And the first time I was rode a horse, a counselor rode on the horse with me, but it was the sensation was so strange because I could feel the steps. It wasn't like rolling or a car or a wheelchair. Oh. And that kind of freaked me out. I could feel like every step. Have you ridden since? An emotion that you weren't used to. Well, I was not even cry. I just, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, she, she no, it was not an emotion. Oh, it was no. an emotion. You were. You were. That was one experience you didn't need to repeat, right? No, I wasn't like I'm scared, but I was never like a horse freak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not an equestrian. Yeah. She gave it a shot. That's as much horse riding as I've ever done. Yeah. It's just one time, and I said, that's not fun. It's mostly, it should have brought people that can tell stories about Spud. <laughs> And I finally got well enough. To, uh, got to know him well enough to to uh, really open up. And I finally asked him one night. I said, "Well, what gets you out of bed every day? What is it that gets you out of bed?" And he said, "Well, if I'd have been born a girl, I would have to pay somebody to help me pee too. He can wheel up to the toilet and take care of that." But and and I tell that story to all, everybody I know has heard. You just turned my life around, man. It, that, that's the thing with, uh, uh, to tell him stories about Spud. It's easy, he, he's a good storyteller, but it's but it's easier to have people that can say things like that. And you, that's just something that you just you just I'm said just it. Saying, the and, third of what we talked about, me life peeing. has changed. <laughs> yeah. Let me move us away from that. Yeah. Um, I can move us into sex. I don't. Know. Oh, let's, let's go back to peeing. <laughs> The reason I'm saying that is we watched a, a, a video, I think most of the students did, called Push Girls. There's a show on Sunday. I've seen the commercial seen. Okay, so I asked the students last week, or over this week, is their homework to watch this series called Push Girls. Because these women are just, you know, I've been, I've been getting back responses from everybody. Because these women are just, have you seen it? No. You gotta see this. These women are fabulous. I've seen the commercials for about them. Yeah, it's on Sundays. I have no idea when. I don't even know if it's, is it still on? Did we yeah, they have a season, I think they're going into season I'll send you the... I'll, I'll season 10? Season 2. Oh, yeah, so season damn. 2. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, send you the, I'll send you the link to it, or Kevin can, because it's, it's fantastic. The only thing these women have, in, well, they have a lot in common, but the main thing they have in common is they're all in wheelchairs. After that, that's about it. They are they're actresses, they're musicians, they're... Um, Models. They're moms, and they're kid ass ladies. That's what's sort of fun about them because they're very outspoken, they're pretty brazen, and they're, they're just, they're exciting and dynamic. Can you think of any other words about them? They're sexy. Um, what else? She's talking about Beautiful. You, she could be talking about it. No, but I'm not a push girl. So I guess what, what I'm, what I'm well, saying is these guy. were I think maybe two or three of them were there. Some of them had been through accidents. That's three of them were in car accidents. And, accidents, and, right. And one, one had a congenital condition. And you're seeing them, they're already in their 20s. In their 20s. Yeah, they're in their 30s. They're in their 30s. They're in their 40s. 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 They're in their
age 19 or 20, then I moved here and I've been here 30, 30 years, 33 years, something like that. What kind of work have you done in your lifetime? Uh, nothing. 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 Oh, he's a cat, cat dog. A cat and a dog. And Spud and, uh, uh, has to take his phone off the hook every time that there's an earthquake in the news. He has to take his phone off the hook or it'll just keep ringing. Oh, people people from in. all over the world. Oh, you know, everybody. That's not true. You, usually they, um, they call me a couple of days later, oh, you had an earthquake? <laughs> but a mudslide happened in Malibu, they call me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where near it. There's an earthquake. <laughs> Yeah, everything west of the Rockies is yeah. just shaking and everything. There was an earthquake, and you say, well, no, technically that was in San Francisco. We didn't, oh, you didn't feel it? No, no. But the, the people that check in, there's just so many people that that check in, that, you know. That, well, you're that, the ones that, that check in because they felt it, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, uh, once they've uh, stabilized their life, they, they call Spud to see if he's okay. He talked good. a little bit about his, uh, is it a nerve disease that he has? How joint common disease. is that now? It's a joint disease. Joint, joint disease, okay. Um, so, well, I didn't hear the rest of the How question. common is that now? It's very rare, actually. I said there's a, a documentary um, about a woman in Africa who also had arthrogryposis, multiplex congenita. And it is extreme. When you saw that doctor, you said there was, what, two or three hundred people? I don't know. All my whole lifetime, I think I met, other than myself, maybe four or five people in here. Arthur and Brad Post. Arthur and Brad Post. You know what I do? I googled it on images. I googled it on images. I think I know how. Let me see, and you're going to connect. So if folks are interested. Arthur and Brad Post. Congenita? Multiplex. multiplex. Okay. With an X. Multiplex congenita. Yeah, multiplex. I thought it was plex, whatever. Oh, multi I did, I did so it's a multiplex congenita. Yes. Google oh. something in the past couple of weeks. Oh, and we're, saw, we're not clear yeah. if that's... We're not sure if it's an X or okay. a K. So arthrogryposis. Okay. Yeah. Um, because the Merck manual is in there. In the Merck manual? Okay. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, I do. Um, what could I ask? Everyone's pretty, pretty shy, but that's okay. Well, I'm, not, I'm not, so I'll ask all my questions. Um, do, do you have, do you have pain? Well, let me start as a child. Did you have pain? Is it, uh... No, no, not at So, okay. Um, so this, this, uh, well, it's not a syndrome. What is it? I'm not sure what to call this. It's a birth defect. A birth, okay. Um, so that you don't have pain now any more than anybody else might have joint pain that's oh, no. getting up in the years. Oh, on my age. Okay. <laughs> we all have that. No, yeah. It was scarred, right? <laughs> oh, scars from the surgery. surgery. Yeah. Did you have surgeries after you were a child? Or well, during? What, during your childhood, you had the surgery? Well, the first surgeries I had, I don't remember, I was a baby. Okay. But um, from 9 to 17, I was off You had a lot of surgeries then. So, this what, is one of, I was going to say, what
Well, one doctor told me later that um, it started too soon. Oh, till things were already sort of formed? Well, when, when, I, when I was younger, right. you haven't really been formed yet, so a lot of what they did was undone by the forming. And a lot of it was unrealistic, too. Wow. Okay. So I wanted this male, so just like part of the spur that, you know, the doctor can fix this, can get a name for himself. So we, one of the things we're talking about as, as teachers is that we get kids in our classes. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, let me turn off this one. We get kids in our classes who are, who have some physical disabilities or, or illness. It's one of the things we're going to talk about today. Kids who are really sick. So kids who may have cancer or kids with, who have to be out because, um, you know, they have uncontrolled epilepsy or they're having some other kinds of surgeries but then they come back but they've missed a lot of school um, we have home and hospital school sort of like like you had but did you find that a problem was there like a gap a gap in I your education I don't remember that much of that way you don't okay I was kind of used to it okay not pretty decent at school so it wasn't like I had a hard time catching up okay so that's good to know and then you had the support of the hospital to get some teachers doing some tutoring and help, okay. Because um, that's one of the things we see also with kids like with asthma, we're going to talk about that today. That's a really a chronic problem and it's increasing. So we find children missing a lot of school, so there's, there's gaps in the, in the education. So that was not an issue. What would you like to ask this man? Yeah, Joss. What did you want to study in college? I wasn't really sure, like most kids. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, I really didn't want to go to college. <laughs> <laughs> but I had nothing else to do. I was going to ask, why did you decide you know, to go there? <laughs> you know, I really didn't want to go. I was tired of school. You didn't really have a goal in the class. What did you like to do as far as like hobbies? Like what do you do? When I was younger, I used to draw a little bit. I used to listen to music. I always loved movies. Anything with story attached to it. The cable was invented for Spud huh? <laughs> when they first did the cable, and he just consumed the History Channel and Discovery Channel. And Actually, that. I got more learned more from History Channel than I did in school. <laughs> but you were more interested in, in yeah. learning stuff by that time. But when there was finally more than two channels, yeah. I remember those days. <laughs> the world opened up. And we would sit there back in, see, 86 was when we were roommates, watching the History Channel, the Hitler Channel. <laughs> the Hitler Channel, we called it back then. It was always World War II stuff. You told a story last night about amniotic fluid. Oh. Right. Oh, God, that's a great story. My mother had a weird sense of humor. Um, it was like 79, 80, 80 something. She had a couple of drinks, and we were watching TV, the news was on, and they had just discovered how you can find out if you have birth defects through sampling amniotic fluid. And they had told that story, she looked at me kind of laughed, she said, ooh. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you got it under the wire. <laughs> ooh, boy. I knew that shit, man. And she laughed. <laughs> That's the only reason it funny, though. <laughs> That is pretty funny. Is this a, so that's a good question then. Is this a genetic disease or just some, a, an anomaly, a, a, a um, Well, it, I think it's genetic, but it's, it very rarely shows it's very up. very rare. So you. So my mother had no way of knowing okay. this was going to happen. She so if you were to look back in your family history. You know, I wouldn't but, know where to look. Okay. So there's, you know, no Uncle Louie or somebody mm -hmm. that had anything. Okay. The only thing about it, if I have kids, mm -hmm. the doctor's going to have one of the four tennis. One of the passing. four? So well, that's why I don't want kids to pass the gene. Oh, okay. no, for it to actually happen. Hmm. Yeah. Not just pass the gene, but, you know. Actually having it. Yeah. yeah. Some other questions for Spud? Is that, when, I, when I Google the images of, of, uh, of what you that the what you have. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's the AMC. Oh, I thought you had pictures behind me. <laughs> no, no, I just wrote the word. Oh, I, I would, it really caught me by surprise because they uh, it, uh, the 
the uh, children all look really different, and some of them were standing up, and, and sometimes one knee kind of went off in, in the other direction or something like that, but I, I really kind of expected something completely different than the pictures that I saw on the image page. Oh. For, it's a... Uh, um, it depends I, I, on the individual, I guess. Yeah. Well, muscle, all people with muscular dystrophy don't have the same... Right. right. Exactly, yeah. It, 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 uh, your, your body reacted to a joint disease in the way that your body does, and other people's bodies react to it a different way. I have no idea. Ways. That's... Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't either. This is actually after 30 years. It's a pretty fresh subject. It's only a couple of months ago that I found out you could say what he has. I, never, <laughs> I only have one story about it, which is the only reason I learned how to spell it. Because you have something. to write it down. Well, spell, what would you tell them as teachers on how to approach students then? That, what, would, what would be your grand advice to them? As you know, to stay at school? Being that I'm not a teacher. <laughs> But to, how, to just anybody, to how to communicate to a neighbor that's in a wheelchair, or how to communicate. The same way you communicate with anybody else. Right. If they speak the same language. <laughs> that's just that's what I was talking yeah. about with Arturo, and there's, I've seen a girl that uh, I get, it looks like cerebral palsy, but she has the walker that she uses behind her mm -hmm. with the catch seat, and she walks around yeah. campus. And uh, as I was coming from the library across the street, and she came up to the corner, was getting ready to cross the street, and I said, good morning, and it just scared the shit out of her. Uh, it looked, she, good morning, hi, how are you? Somebody spoke to her. And that, the main thing that, I, that I, I really do want to start a movement here today, smile and politely say hello. Uh, it, it's okay when you're kids to not stare but we're all grown up now. Be be ready for when that student comes into your classroom in the wheelchair and just say good morning to them the same way you would say good morning to anybody else. Arturo was just stunned when I, when I started talking to him. He was stunned. Even though he was sitting there out in front of the SIP and, and smiling and, and people were walking by and he was ready for anybody to say anything. And he said, oh, hi. And so I just started talking to him. How's the access? I'm bringing my friend here, you know. And, and we just started talking. And now we're emailing, and we got to meet him over there this morning. That was the setup, actually. I emailed him that we were going to be trying. To <laughs> but he's Constitution law. The guy's doing Constitution. He's yeah, majoring in Constitutional law, man. Let, let know, me take so. us back to the classroom. Yeah. Uh, and I, I know you had a different. I know you had a different experience, and you actually had just a regular run-of-the-mill experience at yes. Um, so two things I wanted to ask. One. What would you t what would you tell these teachers, these future teachers, if Spot were coming into the class? You've got the first day of school, or maybe he's been out. So maybe the kids start school, and a week later, you're coming in, or a student is coming in who has some kind of physical disability. Is there something? Is there something that you would say as the teacher to the students? Or not? You know, I don't know. <laughs> Did you ever have a teacher that approached you and you felt closer to or trusted because of the way they communicated with you? Or Only you because they were good like teachers, that? not because they treated me any different. Okay. So good teachers. Just be a, be a good teacher. That's all. What would you say if this was a group of kids? So you've got kids that either has have AMC or for whatever reason. Would you, is there anything that you would say to children? To to, to children about. Um, about how to deal with it, what to do in school, what to look for, what to avoid, how to ask for help. Is it, what would you say to children? Well, I'm, I don't know about children, but anybody else. People who I feel any kind of attachment or anything to, if it's not like forced or you have to think, if you have to think about it, you lost interest with me because I'm not going to do it. I don't, I'm not going to think about it. Either I do or I don't. And everybody don't get along. You don't have to speak to me. I don't have to speak back to you because I'm not feel obligated to be any nicer than you than you know to me. You know. You know I'm doing this a favor to him, but I'm not obligated to teach nobody nothing. And like, and quite frankly, I don't like everybody. <laughs> and I don't think everybody like me. It's just so it is. Be. Yourself. Be yourself. So that's yeah. what we tell children, kids. Be yourself. 
This is a big favor he's doing for me. Today. Yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> 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 At least you come out to a beautiful place. It's really pretty out there. Yeah, you have a nice day. Her too. Um, so, quest, some more questions for Spot? We do questions. appreciate that you came. Thank, Thank you. you for doing that. It Thank you. Have a question? No, I am saying that I appreciate that you came. Thank you. What I think we might do now, and I, I don't know, are you going to stay for a while? Going to stay? That's how you things choice. go. You want to learn something? <laughs> <laughs> He's just been telling us how much you Yeah, put me on the spot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. I can hardly wait to stay here with Professor Diggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can some sliced bread. Um, Turn it on some spokes here. Right. So, well, here, let me tell you what we're going to do, and then okay. Kevin and your group can decide. I'm going to continue on our, our, our lecture, our discussion, and some media I'm going to show have to do with the area of um, physical disabilities. So we're going to cover things like um, a little bit, really highlighting muscular dystrophy, some illness cystic fibrosis, kids with asthma, you know, some physical and some health problems. Um, I'm going to go over some things, for instance, if the if a teacher would have a student in their class who has a seizure, I'm going to really quickly say, here's what you should do, here's what you shouldn't do. So that's sort of what, that's sort of what we're doing today. I've got a little video on a young man named Matty Stepanek, uh, who, who had Duchenne um, muscular dystrophy, and he'll talk to us a little bit. So that's sort of what the rest of our day looks like. Probably not going to be much interaction for you folks. You're not going to your little groups today. It's going to be more about, about it's all about me today. Um, and just trying to do a quick overview of some of these, um, some of these conditions and some of these things we see. Now you're so right your call. Right. Now, you, now you can't yeah. possibly say you're right. Okay. <laughs> the reason that you could be helpful good. here, actually, in fact, um, is and you can be helpful also. And I'm so, mom. I forgot your name. Katja. Katja. <coughs> is that when we're talking about kids, you may want to chime in when I say, "Hey, here's something you could do to help this child." You may jump in and say, "Yeah, and you could do this and this and this too," because these are things that you take for granted because this is your life. But we don't take it for granted, and we, and we have to learn. So. Okay, that so That's the one story I want. So, in tell. fact, I would like you to stay if you could, and and then stop. And then stop. <laughs> I can tell you this, this one story here to finish up. Yeah. We're driving. We're going to go see a friend play a show in Hollywood, and we're driving, and we come up behind. And I'm I'm in the the uh, driver's seat. He's in the passenger seat. We drive up to this parking lot, and we're going to try to park where the employees park at at the club where we're, where our friend is playing and all of that. And as we came back in the alleyway behind the the, uh, the club, the guy that was doing uh, monitoring the parking lot started to walk up to us, and that's the guy I wanted to say, "Hey, we're going to put him in a wheelchair. Uh, can we park here close to the club?" And so I, I said, "It's but roll your window, roll your window." <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> Let me do this, and we talked to the parking guy. It's easy to forget. Yeah. It's it's so easy to forget, and, and I, that's the story embarrasses me a little bit. But I just I just forgot. Roll your window down, Spud. Why why wouldn't you roll your window down? Huh? That's not going to happen. So. Okay. So let's and do this. Let's do, let's do a shift. He laughed about it. And then as things come up, well, Spud, why don't you just sit here? That work? I don't know if I can get him in there. Well, well, then, yeah. then you can be right there. You know my problem here. I have to go back and forth to that. How um, about over there? Oh, no. okay. yes. 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 This is fine. Right there? So, yeah, he's fine. Right here. Yeah, he's fine. Amongst yourselves, because, you know, it takes me a bit to get set up. The other thing I, I encourage you to do is, if things get it, I've been you for an hour, I'm figuring your life is probably still somewhat better. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I was I was actually traveling with the sideshows, and when I met him, I kind of felt bad that he was like locked up, cooped up, in my opinion, in this little house. And I was like, you should come out to carnival with me. You could be the center of the show. And he's like, dude, that's really insulting. It's like, no, I'm really not trying to insult you. Um, and then we just we've been friends for it's like 15 years now, and. Um, 
I've been a home care attendant for other people. I was uh, home, I went to UC Berkeley, and I just got back from there a couple years ago, and I had my other cripple, my colleague gentleman with uh, diabetes, amputee, took care of. And then when I came back, he needed somebody on the books. He needed a home care attendant, so I'm his home care attendant. Got myself an FBI check, and Questions of SoCal? It's a glamorous profession. Glamorous? <laughs> yeah, but you have uh, benefits and stuff, right? I do. Benefits. I have insurance. Oh. It's awesome. Uh, oh, I, that's something I did want to say. They say caregivers. Um, uh, the least when, when it gets in the media that caregivers <laughs> want to raise, you'll hear people talking about, well, what do nannies need with raise? Why don't people oh. just raise their own kids and stuff like that? Oh, and and even uh, Huffington Post did this. A writer you think as liberal as the Huffington Post is that they get it. No, nannies are nannies. When they're talking about getting caregivers a raise, you're talking about people that that bathe and the shave and shower. The sequester is taking two hundred forty dollars a month out of my check because of the sequester. And because of this attitude that it's that like you know, and, who, and yeah, because and stuff well, like that. why does Sput need any yeah. extra? Like, see, what, what people don't understand is when they take money away from me, they're actually taking hours away from him. So I'm I'm technically only supposed to be with him four and a half hours a day. How does that even seem reasonable to anybody? Four and a half hours a day to take care of a human being? Yeah. <laughs> like to me, that's insanity. So I spend a lot more than four and a half hours a day. But. Alright, we can jump back in a little bit. I'm going to show us something. I, I wanted to sort of on, on target with classes, but there were some things, like we short changed a little bit on autism. There were some things that we didn't get to, but I wanted to move us along. So what I'm asking is to write a topic, a question, anything that we've sort of done this semester that you want me to go back and address a little bit on. And so, you know, maybe you'll say, well, I really like to know a little bit more, let's talk a little bit more about Asperger. Or I'd really like to know, I'd really like to get into it more about, you know, I don't know what, what are the disabilities or something. And I don't know if we could do it all next week, but give me something. I mean, if you're all copacetic and you're saying, oh, no, I, I'm, I'm just fine, and I've, I've got, you got to everything that I wanted, then that's okay. But if everyone's hanging in there with All right, so take a few minutes. <laughs> 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 Well, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I, I have some uh, paperwork over registration and stuff. See if we can get some, a couple of free t-shirts at you guys. We handled it really well. We didn't bore you too much. Are you coming? Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you. 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 They give you a little bit of time. Oh, but you know what? I have a little more. Oh, wait, wait. I never talking about your joints, I almost said he's got no elbows and all this, but I thought, no, that would be a little mad. But everybody's just okay and walk by. And
Sorry, I'm stuck on you. Thank you for coming. That was great. I was telling the Egyptian doctor about some of the stuff that I did for him. But I also didn't misunderstand. I thought it was because of the lithium or some Oh, no, no, no. I'm not the mama like, I can't even say that word. Baby, you know. The mama like, the mama. Um, Appetite? What? Oh, that's horrible. You don't look like Denzel in this one. Listen to it right. Would you? It looks more like Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, Morgan no, Freeman. Look at that. Yeah, he looks like Morgan Freeman. The other like one. The other, one. <laughs> the other like that. No. <laughs> that was so bad. That was so awful. He plays presidents all the time, and somebody said, Samuel L. Jackson, and she went, no, the other one. We already knew we were talking about a black guy. Yeah, yeah. We are so bad. So bad. Our, our okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Okay, yes, yes. It is, oh, you know what, I really need a picture. Could you stand right there behind them so sure. I can get a picture of you? But you, oh, the camera went out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, did you? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, you're just hanging out here. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And now I know we even have more coming here. Mm -hmm. Way. Oh gosh, that was wild. I was no, surprised you said that. Yeah, I know Hollywood very, very well. Actually, I just went around here the other day and looked at the whole place. Yeah. Wow. Well, if you're going through someone, they'll watch your coffee. They'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, where are you going to be, Kevin? Are you just, you're just cruising around, I think? Uh, but yeah, we're just going to look around, and I, I, I have to uh, make sure that my application is correct for uh, uh, pre, uh, pre credential next year. And, and uh, look around, and then we'll just, then we're going to the
to the elevator right there. Artistic. I had no idea they had to go through all this work to get these beautiful socks. Put your back into it, SoCal. We're going up a slight incline. A slight incline. Everybody sits and smokes, so I thought we'd just stop here for a minute and have a cigarette. Yes. And you, I was going to say that exactly. You can mm -hmm. put that wheel there. Are you okay, Sunshine? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, are we going to, is he on film? Do we need to get a waiver here? Oh, if he likes. I, I don't know if you mind. We're just shooting stuff with Sput today. But I can keep you out of it if you like or if you don't mind. You can always come back and get a waiver, yeah. Yeah. How's it going? All right. Cool. I understand you study constitutional law, political science. And political science. Oh, oh awesome. Yeah. How do you feel about the talk these days that the Constitution is no longer relevant? Yeah. <laughs> is it accurate? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> it's just uh, actually. All right. 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 It's been tight. Yeah, I gotta get out of the sun. It's killing me. Yes. Cool. How old are you, Arturo? 23. 23, cool. How long have you been going to school? Uh, this is my six and a half year of college. Oh, right on. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> you spell that last name for me again. It was uh, Del Lacerda. So Three words. D E. runs in the family. I'm so sorry. I really was named Hacker. I am a Claude Hopper. I am so... Uh, we, we won't cut you out. Oh, I need your ID number. I said kick up in the first. Uh, zero, zero, zero. How about a little higher? 947? 947. Oh, no. 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 Thank you. Crossing the beach off the list. No, no, no. Well, no, no, no. nice to meet you. Likewise. Uh, have a beautiful day. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah, so it was nice to meet you. Likewise. Thank you. Do great things. We really need somebody who knows what's going on. Yeah. You know, so become one of those people. Yeah. How much for the for um? Yeah. You know, equality for the disadvantaged disabled. You know, well, yeah, that's that's a personal interest. Give him an autograph. Oh, him an autograph. oh but sure. on what? what do, you do you know who he is? I uh, know. He has no Cougan idea. Guy. He doesn't care about me oh, here. So that's ridiculous. Cougan. And also, he was in the movie um, A Christmas Story. Oh, neat. Who? He was in Babysitters. Oh, Babysitter. Babysitters. Oh, Babysitter. Yeah, yeah. Babysitter. Red's Babysitting and uh, Don't Tell on the Babysitter's Dead with Christina Applegate. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> yeah, some 90s movie. 80s and 90s. Uh, I think he was Batman once. No, I was never Batman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A Spider-Man. <laughs> All right, take care. All right, thanks. Bye. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? See you later. I don't know. They get Damn, they booked back. down there. Oh, yeah, she's riding on him. Uh, she's headed for the shade, I told you.
it was too late. Go back. <laughs> was that real or? Yeah, or? he moved. Too much playing. Peter Pan, indeed, the boy who hated mothers. The doc, the doc <laughs> Blank theater. <laughs> Mom, does that He's, disturb you? <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah, that's the blank theater company. This is Theater Row right here. These are all the small theaters. Just heard of anything about Peter Pan, show. the boy who Mom, hated I, mothers. Hey, yeah. The Dodgers, all the Dodgers. So, <laughs> to be a boy who hates mothers. <laughs> What are they going to do? Oh, the old dog? movie I ever saw in my life. I'm one of those guys who play, but I'm wondering what they think. I've seen a couple of scenes from it, and it, was, it looks really good. I'm surprised it took them so long to make a movie about it. See, that's... Okay. But I did make a couple of TV movies and a couple of swarm movies. The HBO one they did when they, um, they were about the Negro League. This, this character was in it, but it was more about, yeah, it was more about Statue Page and Bob Gibson. Not Bob Gibson. Right, I'm going to go. <laughs> Stop. You big jerk. Hurry <laughs> up. What's the post office now? Empty? Yep. Trip train. That could be a great place to have a trash can cleaning business. Trash can? Yard sale. There's a bunch of homeless people living in there. There's a lot of water being lost. Clean it. Clean it. Afterwards. Or a trash can. To clean a trash can takes a lot of water. Oh. Yeah, go. Go. Shit. What the fuck? Go. You get out of my fucking way. Jesus. I love that there's a four way stop there now. It's just yeah, awesome. It is. Okay, we gotta go in and get more the chair. Awesome. Uh -huh. Hang on. There you go. Okay, okay, everybody good? Oh, How was your road trip? Nice. Excellent, excellent. Oh. We're home safe. Okay. Charles. How you doing? Yeah. We got here with a guy that guy here. Wow, it stinks in here. Smells like um sweat, ass, and cigarettes. Yeah. A lot like sweat, ass, and cigarettes. Yep. Oh. There's no way we can eat this. No, no, no. If you nuked it for like five minutes, it might kill half of the bacteria. But I think it's done. Oh shit! This thing really does kick ass through the. If you're not careful with the joystick. Yeah. Oh Jesus! It doesn't stop really quick either. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I didn't mean to. Is there another level four? No, 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 no. Oh, coming through, coming through, no problem. He does have problems. Okay, Kuma, you're gonna have to get out of the way. See, the cat purposely puts itself in front of the wheelchair because it's 16 years old and it wants to die. I love it. He can do this! Man, I tried that shit and I couldn't do it. Hey, look at that. I'm about to go grab a parking spot. Here's your suitcase. Oh, thanks. Okay. Oh, shit. Sit up. You gotta sit up. All right, I'm up. Oh, okay, there you go. Right. Oh, you didn't even sit up. Get up. What is this? Is this still a bottle? No. 
You know, you know, I've tried to do this with his chair. You're the only one that can come out and do this real fast. You tried to ride it? <laughs> Takes practice. <laughs> 